Distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. My name is Chichi Yamagiwa, the president of Kyoto University. I am delighted to open this international inaugural symposium for UNESCO Chair on Water, Energy and Disaster Management for Sustainable Development Wendy, in short. I would like to welcome all of you and extend my sincere appreciation to experts and guests who traveled to Kyoto University all the way from the UNESCO headquarters, UNESCO chairs and centers, in addition to the Dep Department of Irrigation and Drainage, Malaysia, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, Japan, and the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism, Japan. It is also my honor to welcome you to the ancient capital city of Kyoto, the home for a number of historical architectures and cultural heritage, including World Heritage Site and National Treasures. As you witness, July in Kyoto is unbearably hot, humid, and prone to torrential rain. Fortunately, typhoon passed yesterday, but we expected some disasters <laughs> <laughs> in Kyoto City, but we are very fortunate. We have no uh, damage from the, by the typhoon today. As I wrote in the symposium book, Gion Festival in Kyoto started in the 8th century. It was hoped that the ritual war would get rid of epidemics caused partly by water-related disasters at that time. Presently, the annual processions of floats on July 17 and 24 takes place regardless of the weather, even amidst, amidst typhoons with pouring rain. In 2009, Yamahoko, the float ceremony of Kyoto Gion Festival, was inscribed on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. This is a good luck charm of Kikusui Hoko, one of the 33 floats of the Gion Festival. This is the result. I hope you all agree that Kyoto has nurtured cultures and arts. In addition, Kyoto has developed a new center of forefront industry and high technology as well as the academic research institutes. Kyoto University is well positioned to lead creative research that have a true impact on society. In addition to water, energy, and disaster management, Wendy is committed to developing international collaborative research on biosphere reserves geoparks, and world heritage. The scope of the WENDI covers additional fields of bioresources and biodiversity, forest ecological systems, climate change, and data science. All these issues with which WENDI is concerned are indeed very important for human sustainability and survivability. UNESCO Chair WENDI will promote multidisciplinary and holistic approach for research implementation, knowledge transfer, and capacity building in the field mentioned earlier. I hope that Kyoto University's faculty members will utilize the Wendy as a vehicle to cultivate wild and wise students as described in the window concept that I initiated. 
This inaugural symposium is an important milestone for Wendy to establish a higher education and research for sustainable development program in Kyoto University. I will leave this good luck charm for the symposium and I wish all the speakers and participants a very productive and successful symposium. Thank you very much for listening.